Greetings and welcome to Matrix Revealed presentation 43. I am uh, somewhat in contradiction within myself. It's not an unhappy contradiction or even a conflict. It is, as much as anything else, it is keeping possibilities on the table. Now I've suggested that the sun and the moon are like electricity in that if it is magnetic energy, what we perceive as the sun and the moon are the interaction between the magnetic energy and the ether which manifests as what we see as the sun and the moon. So that would suggest something that is projected from Earth onto like a glass ceiling that reflects back like um, the surface water on a pond. But I am also open to the idea of something like a magnetic pole like these chair swings and from that pole the magnetic drives the sun disk and the moon disk around a, this central point. So I can see this from both ways. Now we're always encouraged to pick a side. Well I'm not picking a side. I am leaving both those options open on the table because until I get to a point of beyond reasonable doubt, which is what is used in the quartz, notice that you have quartz crystal, you have tennis quartz, and you have the law quartz. Quartz as in crystal is power, but that is fake power with the law quartz. And I would say do this with everything, Matt on Quantum of Conscious has suggested that 9-11 had such an effect which certainly as far as awakening goes seems to be the case. Now what if that event had a ripple effect that went back and changed time? Because show me the, um, shall we say, conspiracy theorist who was able to see all these things, um, these over a thousand things in comic books and in things like The Simpsons and say, oh yeah, look what I can see, or even Back to the Future, the great big 9-11. How many people seeing that film at the time said, oh look, there's going to be planes hitting the Twin Towers? I don't think anybody was able to work that out in what they call this predictive programming. And I agree with Matt on this, that it would be a far simpler way to do things than expect that these, I think he used the term Rockefellers, but regardless, um, they sat in and said, look, we need you to put 9-11 or a Twin Towers reference or a plane hitting a building reference in that next cartoon you bring out or that next film you bring out or, or whatever it happens to be. That would take an awful lot of work and potentially th there will be, I would have thought statistically there will be someone by now who would speak out and say, look, I was told to put this in and, I, and no one explained to me why. I was just told to do it and put this particular reference in to this storyline or in this illustration or whatever it is. But that hasn't happened. So I'm leaving all the options open on the table. So I wanted to just explain how you can have two opposing ideas within yourself, but you're not in conflict with yourself as well. and. It is by asking questions we will keep looking for these answers. And even if we can say, yes, 
the sun and the moon are created from this or created from that, then I'm leaving all the options open. I'm not going to write anything off unless there is sufficient evidence or proof beyond reasonable doubt. And I think that is something to keep in mind with all of this. As I said, I think on the previous video, anything I say on this channel, just take what resonates with you and then just anything that doesn't just ignore and make your own mind up on things. But um, I would just say keep all the options open. Don't write anything off because we basically have pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. Some people are holding one piece. Other people will come along and say, look, that bit fits next to that piece. We don't have that box lid with, to refer to that tells us this, what this bigger picture actually is and ultimately where it will lead. And this thing Matt calls the not milk system, um, give it any, I, I just call it it. You can call it Satan, Lucifer, the devil, or whatever you want to call it, um, if you want to give it a name. But um, there is something behind all of this that is way beyond human thinking. Every possible way I have looked at all the spectrum of all the topics that would come under the umbrella term of truth seeking and spiritual awakening all seem to point to the existence of something that is not in our best interest, shall we say. But I'm not going to dismiss everything. It's said that this thing is the master of deception. Its only power does seem to be through deception and using us against ourselves. And I think that is important to keep in mind because we are openly encouraged at the most subtle levels with sports of picking a side and that divide and conquer, that separation from nature and everything seem to be the two key parts. There is also one huge advantage that humanity has over this thing because all I am seeing is just like the television I am seeing a series of repeats you've got this corona virus it's just the plague all over again regardless of how true it is or how untrue it is I mean let's face it they're now saying that even if you don't show the signs um, or the symptoms, you might be a carrier and we can quarantine you and lock you up. Well, that basically leaves everybody open to being locked up on some pretentious possibility that you might have this, what is basically nothing more than a common cold virus. But it's a virus, it mutates anyway. I mean, as far as I know, cold, the common cold has been about for a long, long time and you're never going to find a way of... You're always chasing something that is going to continuously mutate and take on a, a slightly different form. And it's still there. But that doesn't kill us. But this whole thing with this coronavirus is being put out as fear. And don't forget, there's everything else still going on. And this does look to be like the travelling fun fair, the, the, the big event, the corona, the, the crowning glory of all this evil. Because they seem to be throwing everything in at once now. Possible war with Iran, earthquakes, floods, fires, vaccines, 5G, um, impeachment, Brexit. You've got the whole spectrum. I, 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 I think... This is probably the first time where we've had everything, the whole menu has been offered to us. And it's like, pick what you want. We're, we're, this is the closing down sale. And I think it, next April is going to be rather fun. It's you, Yeah, you could say it's a prediction. I've been shown things in my mind and I'm just sharing what is shown to me. And I think it is shown in such a way that I can relay that message, but it may be shown to you in a different way. It doesn't mean what I'm shown is exactly as it is. And 
this is open you make your own mind up you have that power of choice what you want to go with what resonates with you and what doesn't and i think again that is something we can all learn from to stay this is all about staying in balance so you can have two opposed like i said at the start you can have two opposing ideas that you don't have the definitive answer for so why discard one and keep everything on the table because how what is the limit of my imagination i've not found it another thing um i was just in discussion um with paul a black sheep researcher that uh, einstein um saying i think it is about an equal will have an opposite an equal reaction so if i say shape-shifting reptilians most people are going to straight away think of something evil what if there are something that appears to be human that is actually what most people would describe as an angel that's been shown in many films as well he, um, angels in human form so don't just look to the negative side look to the positive side as well and acknowledge that both exist because this is all about duality after all we have with inside us that power to choose whether to be kind or to be um, unkind for want of better words you can be benevolent to the point where you're hurting yourself or you can be totally selfish it is all about finding the balance between the two the scales libra the judgment as it is always described we need to be at that center point and see both sides to everything and we're only going to do that by continuing to ask questions of everything don't dismiss anything until you can see that it either doesn't resonate with you or something else will come along and, and show that that to be totally false as i said on the last video it doesn't matter what or who is controlled opposition it may only be as little as 10 percent is misleading information and the other 90 percent is actually truth what is being spoken is a sound vibration you then decode and convert back into words but even if it's just 50 percent that is still resonating and creating a sound vibration and i feel this is why we are seeing this sudden upsurge with this awakening even just saying oh 2020 um everything will be revealed 2020 means clear vision even by saying that that is creating a sound vibration that is going out to the rest of the world those that want to listen to it and then anybody that does listen to anybody that says anything like that they may talk to other people and you can see the way this then multiplies and how the frequency is changing just from that on its own we do have the power within us and by speaking it we create sound and we change reality it's as simple as that i don't think we need any outside help as it were there is possibly a part of our soul that is elsewhere or as i've suggested before we could be just nothing more than a projection into a conscious and a subconscious two days two forms of days and with no point of reference which is the conscious and which is the subconscious what is asleep and what is awake we only have this reality really to go by on that so it could be that we are the opposite of the uh, sun and the moon and we are a projection from this something outside of this realm into this realm and but it, whatever it is it seems to be that we're here to have an experience and we have the power to make it into a fun experience it doesn't have to be all negative we can balance it and create a lot more positivity just by speaking 
if you think about it, even to somebody who lives alone, maybe they've got anxiety, they struggle to go out just to buy maybe a pint of milk, your smile can make a big difference to that person. That's not even a vocalisation, that's a visual thing, but that in itself can make a difference as well. So there's plenty of ways we can do this quite simply. There's no magic trick to this. The, mag the, mag the magic is the magnet, the magnetism, the intent that you put into what you wish to display to the outside world. I mean, this is a stage and we're all actors and actresses and we wear various masks, you could say. Um, and we project out what we want to project onto the world. Um, that, again, is entirely down to you as an individual, what you want to put out and what you hope to achieve. Everything is geared up to make it look like we're insignificant and things are impossible to change. But I think clearly that can be shown that that is not the case. So just carry on speaking out. Feel no fear of what others think because there are far greater things at, at stake here and um, we owe it to ourselves that's the only debt you have you owe it it's what you owe to yourself to find out the truth and collectively I feel we can do that anyway just a quick video just a few thoughts I wanted to share so I will say ta-ta for now and I wish you all a wonderful day thank you very much